Okay, now I think, excuse me, I think we're live on YouTube. We'll see. A lot of people show up to those, especially if they're late, they can catch up. All right, there we go for YouTube. And I'll start recording. We're 10 seconds early. I've never been early before. Nine, eight. <laughs> um, all right. Well, all right, I'll start, um, I'll start recording. All right, um, here we go. Welcome everybody. Um, yeah, I guess I'll share my screen. I'll do the normal thing that I do, which is to share my screen, give a little presentation about where you are, what's happening, and then I'll hand it over to our, our awesome host. So let's see, share screen, hang on, there we go. Oh, goodness gracious, I don't have my window open yet. So you'll have to wait a second. So silly of me. Rachel, you have two Instagram accounts. Is that correct? Do you use them both in the same way? I do. Way? One of them is, is just a private Instagram that, you know, in the days of separating your professional and your personal life. Um, but I, I do have one, the one that I use is the one that is linked to the event. So RL, RL comics, right? Yes. Yes. Sure. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Here we are. Welcome everybody. Welcome. It's Friday night over here. We've got some friends down in the Southern hemisphere and Eastern hemisphere for whom it's Saturday morning and maybe where you are, it's Friday afternoon. I don't know. Friday night, super late, super early. Anyway. For, <laughs> we call it the Friday night workshops. Anyway, the Friday night comics workshop. You're at the Sequential Artist Workshop. Um, we're a nonprofit school. Um, we teach, we have lots of courses. We have lots of um, intensive. We host lots of events um, in person and live. You can find out more at learn.sawcomics.org. Um, here's some things coming up, although I think the first two classes are already we're already past those, but that class, Beth Tremblay and the ones below it are happening soon. Next week in this spot, we're going to have Kit Frazier and they're going to be doing drawing buildings as main characters. That's going to be super fun. Um, Beth Tremblay, maybe one or two slots left in this story structure basics and how to use them. You can check out the website for that. I think we're really close to selling out. This just ended as of like an hour ago, Art Comics with Tommy Parrish, but now you know the kinds of things that happen live and in person down in down in Gainesville. I hear that was a great workshop. I wasn't there, um, but we'll be doing at least one or two of these a year. Um, so thanks for donating to those of you who donated for tonight or any other time you've donated. This is how Saw survives is through tuitions and donations. It really helps us pay the Friday night artists, the, the teachers of other kinds. It helps keep us, keep us going. So we really appreciate it. There are lots of ways to do that. I'll put some in the chat. They're on the screen. Oh yeah, you can buy a t-shirt. It says this would make a great comic. <laughs> I, we have other t-shirts too, but that's my favorite. You can become a sustaining member, uh, donating a little bit monthly helps out too. So, okay, let's get started. No trolling or hate speech, please keep it PG-13. This space we keep PG-13, we appreciate it. No inappropriate speech or imagery. Um, share what you do tonight uh, with the hashtag Friday Night Comics. You can tag us at Comics Workshop. You can find lots of people sharing things at members.sawcomics.org. And like I said, I'll post Rachel's Instagram in the chat. Uh, enjoy. Here it is. Oh, L R Lindsay underscore comics. That's what I'll put in the chat. So there's there's Rachel's website. And oh my God, it's I'm so excited. Rachel's been here once before. I'm going to stop sharing, but I wasn't here. So I'm super excited that I get to be here this time, Rachel. And RX is such a great book. And I really just, really just dig it. So Thank you for being here. Like I said, I'm going to spotlight you, Rachel. There we go. And um, and I'll be just helping you out, but go for it. What are we, what are we talking about? <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's, here we let's go. do it. Um, so yeah, thank you, Tom. And um, I'm a big fan of Saw. I, I took Matt Madden's class, so I can attest to the programming being excellent. And um, you you all should definitely spend some time looking at what they're offering. I'm sure what's coming up is awesome. Also a huge Tommy Parrish fan. Sad to miss that one. 
Um, so I, uh, I'm really excited to be sharing my Friday night with you. And, um, I, I got the idea. I'm just going to start sharing my screen. And I also want to say, I'm not that great with like facilitating and looking at the chat. So if I miss your comment, I apologize and, you know, we'll get to it later, but, um, just wanted to mention that, um, I'm going to just pull up my presentation here. So um, side effects, uh, the emphasis here being on medication side effects. Um, and this came to me because the last workshop that I did with SAW um, was called Lettering Altered States. And some of you may have participated in that. It was a while ago. Um, but I was really struck by in what people chose to depict as their altered state, a lot of people chose medication side effects. And I thought, wow, wouldn't it be interesting to have a workshop that was totally dedicated to drawing side effects and almost as importantly, holding space for drawing and reacting to and sharing the depiction of side effects, which I think is really important um, just as, as someone who you know, takes medication and deals with those sort of things. Um, it's good to be able to react to and share. Um, so as Tom mentioned, I have a book called RX. Um, it came out a couple of years ago, but um, it's about my experience working in psychopharmaceutical advertising as someone who has bipolar disorder and the dual consciousness of, you know, marketing medication and, and marketing mental illness and just living with a mental illness, and then that leading to a manic episode. Um, and then the second half of the book is about my experience um, hospitalized. I was involuntarily hospitalized. So as you can see by the pile of pills that I'm standing on, um, that was also a part of the, the situation and um, you know my personal history. Um, but I also do a lot of other comics. Um, I've been in The New Yorker, I was in Spiral Bound, I was in an issue of James Kachalka's Super Fuckers Forever, and I have a comic strip in um, the alt-weekly paper here in Vermont um, that I've had for several years now. And then I also just like doing fun stuff for my community. That's a donut label on the right there, and then the uh, uh, sticker that I did for a local radio station. Um, so in terms of materials for tonight, um, I want to encourage people to use whatever they feel comfortable with. I think that's kind of the vibe here. Um, but this is just a picture of what happens to be on my desk right now, uh, including my multicolored Hello Kitty pencil that I've had since I was 17. Um, always great to resurrect the old tools, so much nostalgia and energy. Um, and then if you want to use an iPad, that's totally cool too. I love it. Um, and I, I, I'm putting consider color almost as a reminder to myself because I almost never use color, you know, just when I'm drawing. Um, but I think for tonight, that might be an interesting tool thinking about like the different kind of dimensions that we want to access when we're doing our work. So I want to start with just a warm up uh, exercise. Um, just to kind of ground us and get us thinking and, and get our hands moving. So what I have here, the idea is just to choose one of these and draw a three to four, four panel strip. Um, so either the worst thing that happened, the best thing that happened, or maybe just like a normal, you know, quotidian experience from this week. Um, and I'm just going to give everybody seven minutes to, to do that. So just a quick warm up. Um, I don't have any music, but feel free to listen to your own. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to draw mine. Cool. I'll watch the time too. It's eight and a half after <laughs> really exact here. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so we'll go to 15 and a half after. Right? Great. Gee, I had what I was going to do all set in my mind, but I can't remember now. Uh, I'll just draw. My... Was it best or worst? Uh, I, I was, it was a best. I guess, I don't know if it qualifies as best, but it was a thing of note that was positive. Um, I'll mention the people that they can also do that.
So we've got four minutes. So we've got less than three minutes. Okay, Rachel and everybody, we have one more minute. All right. According to the seven minute rule. Yeah, I mean, I think that's fine. There's two more exercises. <laughs> it's so cool. Okay, where are we at? <laughs> sure, we're good. Okay, all right, how did that feel, everyone? I just Great. out of straight, it was what? Great. Great. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious. I don't know. I even know how to like do this, but I, I'm so curious to know how many people chose best or worst or regular. Was this like, can I see, uh, uh yeah, throw it in the chat. I'm curious to see. Best, that. best. I nice. think worst, mm. regular, best, normal, best, worst, 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 best, best. All, All three. three. Nice. <laughs> Regular best, worst, worst turns out to be best. Whoa. Worst, but turned out. Okay. Worst, best, worst, and worst. I, I, you know what? Worst, 
I will say that from experience, drawing about the worst sometimes really makes it better. So um, I don't know for the people who drew about the worst thing. I don't know if that helped you feel any differently about that worst thing, but I hope it did. And I hope it was in a good way. I drew, I don't know if it's possible to like see this actually, but. Um, if, you, um, if you stop sh screen sharing for just a moment, that'll, that'll let us. That'd oh, okay. Be awesome. If you have that option. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So this is mine. I, I kind of get confused sometimes it's backwards, but, um, I kind it's of, get, I get confused sometimes even as a pro, whether or not you can read like this one, two, three, you know, or if it's always one, two, three, I get confused about that. I think it's acceptable to do one, two, three. And in any case, this is one, two, three. And it's about, I bought, everything's about my cat. I bought my cat a burrito. I don't know if anyone's ever seen this. It's it's a burrito cat stuffed animal thing. So they they have a cat toy section at the grocery store, which is brilliant. I mean, they all just like throw pet stuff somewhere, you know, but like to actually be like, this is for cat people, like they, they're really doing themselves a service. So mine was about my impulse buy. I don't know where it really sits on the spectrum, but I think it was a good thing. He, lo he loves it. Um, okay, that was fun. <laughs> now, getting back into it. Um, all right, so uh, now, um, so I, this is just like a, a snapshot from my, my book. So, you know, like I said, I, I take pills um, and I, I really think there's so much value in being able to capture your experiences with side effects because um, like, you know, just not to have like a, too much of a medical PSA here, but, you know, when you are starting out taking stuff, you know, you're, you, you need to be aware of what's going on in your body and your mind. And it's really helpful to, to track that and keep a journal whether that's like just written down or visual um, is up to you. But this is something I wish that I had done earlier in my life. Um, and, you know, for those of you who are fans of graphic medicine, um, you know, there's always a way to start a conversation with your doctor about like stuff that you're dealing with that involves drawing and comics. And it's another entry point for you. Um, so, when I started, you know, thinking about this workshop and, and visualizing side effects, one of the things that came to mind immediately was, um, those icons, uh, that they have for side effects on bottles. So, um, you know, drowsiness, dizziness. Um, and so I did a little cursory search of icons for side effects. Um, and, you know, there's just kind of these basic ones, like the drowsiness one that we all know. Then I found these like funny kind of just like someone was playing around with different ideas. Um, but, you know, even just like trying to interpret these things, you know, like, I don't know what number two is. I don't know if anybody has any ideas about that, but depersonalization, de disassociation, no friends anymore. I don't know. Um, uh, but I also thought that this one was really funny for Vertigo, like the Hitchcock movie. They have that, you know, the swirl in the background. So I'm sure that people have their own side effects to draw upon. But here's a list of common side effects and so also some less common side effects. And I thought for like a, a jumping off point, and we won't spend too, too much time on this, but um, to choose some side effects and then draw the, an icon of them. So we're looking for in this moment to do a very simplistic drawing uh, that captures one of those, you know, you can do one if you want, you can do more than three, I'm just saying three, um, and then develop them into an icon. So it can be any side effect you want, but I'm gonna put this list back up. Um, and then you can choose from among these uh, which side effect you want to depict. So again, like there's there's a very, you know, just line based approach that you can take 
or you can do something that's a little more complex. But, uh, you know, when when you're doing this, just try to capture it very succinctly um, and try to just do it as iconographically as possible. So this is just uh, going to be another short exercise. Try to do three of them um, and we'll we'll give that eight minutes, I guess. OK, cool. And eight minutes is we'll be right at the 30 minute mark. That'll bring us right there. Do we want to, I ha, do have like a fuller, I'm really bad at doing the timing out part. So should we get into like the real deal or should we do another? I don't know. What's the real deal? No, this sounds fun. I think we should do it. Okay. Do we want yeah. to shorten it and, and make the real deal longer or anything? Yeah, like let's that? do, let's do the real deal. I had like 20 minutes for. Does that Could make I? sense? Yeah, that'll be, that'll be fine. All right. So we'll then, go a little long, but that's okay. Okay. Um, the cat will be locked behind the door for long. <laughs> oh my God, I know. He's making a ruckus. Um, all right. So choose three of those and we'll we'll spend uh spend about eight minutes on that. Yeah, now it's about seven. And I'll put that list in the chat as well, but it's awesome that it's on the screen. I assume we can draw other side effects if we can think of some. Oh, but... totally. Yeah, you can do whatever you want for this. I just wanted there to be something for people to look at. Okay. Yeah, I find this exercise to be quite hard, actually. So if anyone else is having trouble with it, don't feel bad. Some people were saying that number two there might be depression because that little person is outlined and they feel impert. It looks mm -hmm. like they're not responding to the touch. And also they're a little bit slumped. I don't know. It's interesting. Yeah, and I think like this is probably just some graphic designer like playing around with ideas. Yeah. yeah. But but like yeah, it's interesting. I'm I don't know what it is. I love number three is clearly weight loss, but it could also be like new genitalia or, or anything. <laughs> yeah, I think. And what if two is um, seeing ghosts? Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> that would be one hell of a side effect. My God, it's different than a hallucination. It's real. That's right. Right. We're walking through walls. Mm -hmm. And I, I think it's interesting, like in some of these, it's, it's sort of hard, like I want to do a before and after, you know, like it helps to get the point across. Um, it's just kind of funny to think about, uh, like the challenge of communicating something in a single one fell swoop like this. So yeah. kudos if you are, if you're feeling like this is easy. Yeah. I'm drawing insomnia, but it looks more like being in, in an MRI machine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was going to try to draw next.
So technically about two and a half minutes left already. Wow, the Yeah, and it's helpful for this one, I mean, late in the exercise, but thinking about emanata and also thinking about, you know, existing symbols that you can manipulate, like I did uh, for insomnia, I just drew ZZZ and did a, you know, cross through it. But there's always something visual that exists that you can lean on. Um, and for the question in the chat about emanata, emanata is a, Tom, correct me if I'm wrong, an Italian term for uh, the like little lines and other um, like uh, things. Yeah, that like, that come off of a character. So like, if you look at my drawing area, um, stuff like, that's kind of hard to see, but uh, like little little lines coming off or like squiggly things um, <laughs> that that they, they okay yes emanate thank you emanate from the character yes that's a great way see, to put it. You can see some on the um, at least one on the icons that you've shown the person that might have a headache. There's these three lines coming up, but those also tend to sometimes uh, involve heat also. Yeah. So, tricky and fun. Sweat is a big one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, the little, the little droplets coming off of someone. Oh, uh, our eight minute mark too. All right. Cool. Um, okay. I will show you mine. I did constipation is my favorite. There's, there's a little fly. Can you move the screen share for a second, Rachel? Uh, oh, yeah, because yeah. otherwise you're just a tiny box. It's just a tiny box. Okay, yeah. So see, I did. <laughs> there's nothing coming out. Um, and then I messed that one up. And then this is my insomnia, and that's abdominal pain, and then th th that's emanata. What that kind of thing. Um, okay. So, um. I'm going to go back to sharing here and we're going to get to the main event now. Um, so what we want to do now, and I feel like this is like, I just wanted to get us to this point, but I feel like this is sort of like where we were in that other workshop where people were getting into their side effects and telling more of a narrative about it. Like now that we've kind of played around with this conventional expression of what side effects are with these icons, like now it's time for you to take this and do your own thing, um, tell your own story. So uh, what I'm envisioning over the next 20 minutes or so is to create a six to 12 panel comic about an experience that you had with side effects. And when you're doing this, um, I want you to think about color. I want you to think about the line work. I'll explain what I mean by that. Um, the panel size and shape, um, text, the way that you integrate text, the, the size of it, the style of it. If you are in that, that lettering workshop or have done work with lettering, you know that um, the text can be very expressive if you choose for it to be. Um, and then also, you know, a, a lot of um, experiences with side effects 
can, there's like a, a real speed and intensity with them hitting you and the way that you feel them. So is there a way to convey that in the way that you create your comic? So it's not just like, um, you know, when, when you're constructing a comic, there's a suggestion of the way to consume the information. So if all of the panels are uniform, you're kind of interpreting that and consuming that in a very uniform way from moment to moment. Is there a way to maybe expand a moment or compress a moment? Um, you, you know, would you think about if you're talking about a hallucination or something that really like changes your perception, does that panel become a circle or some sort of wavy something or other? Like this is this is now your opportunity to talk about this as a story. So you had the opportunity to kind of visualize it very succinctly. So now how are you going to make that into a narrative and think about all the tools in your arsenal to make that interesting? Um, and then again, this is this is sort of what I was getting at. Like, here's some manipulations of line that you can think about integrating when you're going about this. Um, and then I, I already got into this, but you know, consider the container that you have for those images and how you can change that too. So I'll just pull this back up. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna get to get to work. I've got that in the chat, Rachel. So if you want to remove your sh screen sharing, I can I can highlight your drawing. Which yeah, will be, sure. Fun. Okay. Yeah. Let me try to get it better set up here. I, I'm sorry, I don't have an aerial view. Uh -huh. Cool. And I'm going to spotlight your drawing one. There we go. And for time, I recommend we stop at. 10 of so that would be 20 minutes from when you first announced it but more like 16 from now it's fast but great is that all right yeah that works and nobody's going to be punished if they can't do six panels right sometimes we're sometimes we three or four might be all we can fit in that kind of time frame yeah. Oh my gosh. Whatever works. <laughs> okay. And you know what you could do, you can do a, a comment, like, I mean, if you want to, I'm sure people have had experiences where they just passed out. So it could just be one drawing of yourself and then a black box. So you can totally get away with whatever. Well, cool. okay. This is fun. Do you know what you're going to do? Um, I, I'm thinking about it. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to figure it out. There's been just so many, so much to draw upon. And it's also interesting to think about like, you know, how much context you wanna include and how you wanna include the context. So um, I'm thinking about whether or not I want to show myself taking the medication or if I want to just write about it or just like have the actual event itself.
I sharpened, I had to unplug my pencil sharpener in order to plug in my computer charger. So <laughs> sharpened mul multiple, I'm a big uh, Fort Ticonderoga number two fan. So I've got a whole bunch of <laughs> sharpened pencils over here to get me through this. It's just like the SATs, you're all set and ready to go. I know, I know. And then I need, um, I could just use a regular non-electric sharpener, but I don't even know where it is. Electric, electric sharpeners, that's one of the best things electricity does, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm doing uh, mine about, um, a lot of times I have taken drugs where my doctor like didn't tell me anything about what the side effects were. And one of the things that happened to me when I was working in the advertising agency was that I would have to read all the legal copy for these drugs. And I would like learn about side effects from doing that work at, at work and not from my doctor. And so there are, you know, there was this one time that I, I took this one drug and I had no idea what to expect. And it was just like, completely knocked me out crazy I don't want to just <clears throat>
<laughs> I was wondering what was happening next, Rachel. What a crazy <laughs> great panel. I was in suspense. Yeah, I mean, it's funny, like going through this, and I'm sure everybody else, like, well, maybe people are feeling this way too, but I'm like, oh, man, I should have made that panel span the whole thing. And then I could have done this and that match up, you know, like, there's so many different ways to structure things so that it flows in the way you want it to. So I might have to revisit this one after. Sure. This is all a great way to get a first draft down. Yeah, totally. It's nice to just get forced to do it. Having the, the time constraint is nice for that. Yeah, and believe it or not, we're at the four and a half minute mark. Four and a half minutes left. What? Wow. Okay. Yeah, I have this panel that says 20 minutes later, and it's basically exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs>
<laughs> I love that spinning around your head thing. Mm. Wow, that's intense. Yeah. <laughs> And actually, we're at a we're at a good point. We're kind of kind of at that mark. Can you turn it a tiny bit sideways so that we can see it from? Yeah, there you go. Keep going. Yeah, especially yeah. that last panel. I can. Uh, well, yeah, there's that. Um, but yeah, I can. I mean, I can share this. You can uh, share it on your other computer. We can start uh, recommending that other people raise their hands, and you can share it on your your other computer. A spot like that yeah that? okay so there so if you want to hold it up to the screen that would be great okay. and we can take a look at it. everybody else all right I, is it backwards for everybody no okay it's great forwards. um so yeah pretty basic uh beginning here um taking the pills and then 20 minutes later i tried to do you know, get a little foreshadowing <laughs> of what was going to happen by making this a wiggly line. Um, and then it says, whoa, I feel weird. And then, uh, you know, that line is there again. Um, and then this whole panel is like, what happened in the experience was that I just like became, everything was just like a blur and dizzy and crazy, like a wobbly world. So I drew a wobbly world. Um, and then I like passed out for several hours. Um, and then here I am coming to, and I say, well, I'm never taking that again. Da da da. <laughs> we've got a few people that want to share too we'll probably have Great. more Let's than a few in a couple of minutes but awesome. we'll go to meta then marlene i think marlene had her hand up maybe not. so i i'll ask you to all unmute and then i'll replace spotlight there we go cool i'm at it so the i only did four panels so i can't read it from here so my dad is dying and that's my dad saying i have brain cancer but i'm staying positive because that's what he's doing and then the next one, um, his family is overseas, so I'm his only carer. I tried to make that the weight of me carrying it by myself. And so it says the weight of being his only carer. And then I said, so I'm taking da 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 anti-anxiety to help with the stress. And I stole the wobbly line technique for the word stress. And it both helps and gives me the. Mm. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. I, I love what you did with the weight, you know, like that. I, I mean, you can feel it. You can feel oh, it. Oh, good. Thank you. That's good to know. Yeah, it's great. Thanks, Meta. If we have anybody else who wants to share, go ahead. I guess I'll share since um, while we wait for a couple of people. I always have to make the apology that I draw super sloppy on these Friday night workshops because I'm always managing the chat and stuff as well. But let's see. Um, this episode, this week is definitely too much information for everybody, right? Too much TMI. Uh, you know what? I don't have to share, but I will really, I'll just do a brief version. So there I am in bed. Basically I had to take a million laxatives cause I had a, a, a you know, a, a colon test. And so I'm not even going to show every panel, but there it is. And then they become bulldozers in my stomach. Oops, hold on. And then there they are just clearing everything out. These giant bulldozers clearing everything out. And then it becomes bubbly in there, kind of like Meta's last panel on the toilet, but just like, just everything <laughs> cosmic out, out there. So I don't know. There you go. So now I we have some other shit. Right the bulldozers are great. That's, <laughs> that's really clever. A little, that's like a little magic school bus action in there. <laughs> right. <laughs> cool. Uh, all right. So we'll go to Michaela next. I'll ask her to mute, then Rachel, then Sarah, then Jackie. Here we go. Um, all right. Let me unmute. I have this. I have on the on this side was the icon that I did the for vivid dreams, and then I just drew up panels about a vivid dream that I had quite recently. So driving, going in some strange city, looking for stuff, um, thinking I'm gonna crash. I can't I can't remember the order that I drew it here, but but there it is. And I only experimented. A, tiny little bit with colors 
that's it. Cool. I I love the color. It's it, is that just a highlighter? It looks like you yeah. have a black light on. It's amazing. No, I discovered the highlighter looks really good on Zoom. Yeah, so, so I've been using it in a lot of my Zoom drawings. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Michaela. We'll go to Rachel K next, then Sarah, then Jackie. Hey, I did um, my uh, brand new exclamation point, antidepressant exclamation point. Um, my psychiatrist was always ex so excited about all the new stuff. And so there I am with the pill in my hand. It's blue. Um, I don't remember what color it really was. Maybe this one will actually work, I'm thinking. And then I read the prescribing information, which you should probably never do. I don't know. Maybe you should. Um, and I'm starting to question my um, taking it. I go to go to bed. And then I have this dream, also vivid, very vivid dream. And I made it blue to reflect the uh, the pill. And I sit up in bed and I'm panting, pant, pant, pant. Nice. Yeah, I like the you you the way that you've like done these extreme close-ups. I and I I like the the way that you differentiated the the dream panel from the other ones. It's great. Cool. Thanks, Rachel. We'll go to Sarah, then Jackie. Let's see. Hey, um, I didn't want to show my comic, but here here's my um, pharmacist side effect symbols. So I think I might have actually seen this like loss of sense of small one in real life. So I can't take credit for that one. But a nice like, nose. Imagine if it turns you straight. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible effect. Um, and then snake hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, I heard that Medusa happened because of side effects, actually. <laughs> that's her, that's the real origin story. Mm -hmm. Snake hands, amazing. Okay, we're gonna go to Jackie next. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, I I thought that the icons were were the assignment, so I'm I'm just uh, I had to switch gears really quickly. But uh, this is uh, being awarded. Oh, can't hear you, Jackie. I don't know why. It's a little wordy. I'll try my best to read it. Um, it just uh, kind of. Target uh, treatment wise. Hey, it could be worse, am I right? Once you get uh, a com the right combination of meds, once you get the right combination of meds, things suddenly change again. I'm taking them as directed that, uh, you know, I can't stop crying. And it makes me really, I was kind of horrible. And this is just a warning, a little TMI. Why it's a veritable cornucopia of side effects with all these meds sometimes. Check it out. I've lost half my teeth. Thank you, dry mouth. Gum disease. And um, constipation and drowsiness. I can't tell you how many times I fell asleep on the can. <laughs> One no, don't. Uh, one is uh, one of the meds made me completely anorgasmic. That was fun in the sack. Check it out. And I'm poking myself in the thigh with a fork. No feeling at all. Don't even get me started on what it, uh, on what it, I used, what, don't even get me started on what, when I used to drink and take meds. So the doctor said only like, you know, to, to, when the doctor said I can't drink, he means just one or two, right? And that's me taking my meds with a beer. <laughs> it's never one or two. So that, you know, then the effect of the beer. Um, I, I love the, the fork stabby panel. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's like really, I love that drawing. It's really Thank good. You. Awesome, Jackie. Thanks. I love the can panel. <laughs> we'll go to Kim next. If Kim will come on screen, we can spotlight them. Then we'll go to Amanda. Then we'll go to Linda. Um, 
All right, I'm gonna mute Kim for a while. They can request to come back. Oh, there you are. You can. Hi. Hi. Uh, yeah, mine's very short. I didn't really get okay. too far with it. Um, but I was wondering if you had any like recommendation for. I was trying to show like brain zaps. Hmm. But I I couldn't figure out like how to. Yeah, I mean, like, I think you're like, going right to it with the brain image. I also think when I think of brain zaps, I think of like, a sequence where maybe it's like a normal face, and then the brain zap moment, and then like a glitch kind of face, you know, uh, so like expression in the face to show that there's like been a change or something. Yeah. And I guess that like, sh that shows up that side effect shows up differently for different, you know, wh whoever, but I mean, I think the the zap on the brain is I think that's pretty effective is pretty, pretty good. But sometimes doing a sequence helps to like get the point across that there's been some sort of moment of change. Okay, thank you. Super cool. Thanks, Kim. We'll go to Amanda next. Okay. Mine also is um, kind of short and not necessarily like a sequential comic panel, but I did it with like a pill case container. Ooh, so, cool. And, I love like, that. The face is being pretty like unexpressive. And then just here being like totally works for like an antidepressant that's causing like anhedonia where like you can't have any kind of emotional. Mm. reaction to stuff um wow. yeah. yeah I love I love the the idea of the container for the panels that's so that's really smart like that cool thanks Amanda we've got Linda next then Nicole then Chris I will see if Jenny's in the house too there we go hey so I did I did seven panels um we start off with me seeing the doctor and he says I would be happy to take these drugs for the rest of my life. And here they are, they, and they all have very strange timings on them. So take them two hours before meals, take them without food, take them with food. And this gives me, here's my clock, just like these little tiny windows when I can eat. And all the rest of the day is taken up with taking pills at the right time and with the right level of food in my stomach. So it, it just focuses things in a completely unlifelike way. Mm -hmm. So then, then at night, um, and this isn't to treat eyes at all. This is like a digestive problem. My eyes, my already dry eyes get even worse. So my bedroom turns into a desert. Those are cactuses and that's a blazing sun. Um, here's my red eyes and they, my eyes say, I can't move. I can't move. So then I think, all right, I'll put in all these drops and I'll put in goop and I'll wear a sleep mask. And it doesn't really work. So it gives me plenty of time to lay in bed and think about the other actual long-term side effects of osteoporosis and dementia. But the good news is I was just low on zinc. So I didn't need these $300 a month pills. I'm not going to get osteoporosis and dementia. Check your zinc levels, people. That's, that's my message. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's a whole universe of, of things to react to. I mean, the, I like what you did with the, the clock I, and that's a, that's very real. Um, yeah. I mean, I could see that you could make that for Etsy, you know, so many people <laughs> love it. <laughs> awesome. Thanks so much, Linda. we got the PSA in the chat, check yeah. using TMI for kids. No, it's been great. It's been okay. great. Hi. So my daughter wanted to share her. She had a dental surgery recently. This is Juliet. Um, and Julia. so she wanted to share. Do you want to share about it when I show it up? Okay. Can you, are you able to see it? Wow. Awesome. Oh yeah. So the, the first panel there, Juliet, can you tell them please? Um, <laughs> so the first panel is just me waking up for, um, from surgery and um, the second panel um, is just like saying like my lips were really cracked and like dry. And then like the third panel was like, I was really, really drowsy. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and like, I was also like really confused. <clears throat> like 
And then um, I was like really sore. My mouth was like really sore. <laughs> and then the end panel, it says, I was fine at the end and I got ice cream. Hey, <gasps> hooray. <laughs> Wow, that's really great. Nice job. I, I really like the way that you did. The, the first one is kind of you waking up, right? And it's sort of like all about your eyes and, and realizing what ha just happened. And then you're registering what happened with your mouth. So you're really telling a great story like in those pictures as well as what you wrote out. So awesome job. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Julia. Thanks, Nicole. Awesome. Hey. Ice cream as a side effect. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'll go to next. Thank you. My right, mind's very short and simple. Thanks. Um, the icon was interesting. I, but I, my icon's kind of complicated with the brain coming out of the head. And, and anyways, um, I only have three panels. And it starts with uh, when I went to the doctor, he said, you're old and you don't want to get shingles. Right. So um, Shingrix to the rescue because Shingrix is a Vaccine, a vaccine that people get to not get shingles when they're older. Um, I have no problem. So I got the vaccine. But then for like a month afterward, my shoulder really hurt. Like Bluto from Popeye was just banging on my shoulder. <laughs> and I, uh, when I would play ball with my son, it just hurt to throw the ball. Um, so I'm saying, ow, F word. <clears throat> <Anyway>. <laughs> I, yeah, I like the idea of Shindrix actually being this evil, like superhero character person that punches you. <laughs> There's the campaign. Yeah. <laughs> thanks. It was a good. Great. Yay. Thanks, Chris. And now, if you are ready, you can come on screen. Then we have Nancy, then Kate, and we'll see if Jamie's in the house and then we'll be done. Mine is about... Um... Like at nighttime, I would take these pills and I'd be so tired when I ate them, or whatever. But then I kind of went to like a close up where it kind of showed like it bubbling and then the fire starting, as you know, heartburn. And it just gets worse and worse. And you see the clock going because I can't sleep at night. It's like a volcano. I thought maybe I should have illustrated it by doing something like this the bubbles coming out and then a heart and like a like making them a person personification and the heart is running the fire everywhere. Wow. Yeah, that's beautiful. Uh, the drawings are gorgeous. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I really like I, I, I feel like there's a it's a very expressive um, comic. Uh, and then I like it, it's almost um, there's like an ethereal thing going on in the beginning. And then it gets like really literal when you get into that pain quality. So mm -hmm. it's kind of, it's cool to to see how that came to life. It's great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now. Okay, we'll go to Nancy next and then Kate. Okay, am I unmuted? Uh-huh. All right. Oh no, mine is about the terrible colonoscopy prep. <laughs> <laughs> so it's early in the morning, like 2 a.m. and I'm shaking it up and drink it within the time limit and then like, two seconds after I down it, I have to throw up. And that, that is what happened. <laughs> uh, I really like that running panel. Um, I think you're, there's so much energy in that moment at, you know, as you're trying to convey uh, in the story. So that's just working really well. And the bunny slippers are <laughs> really adding a lot of, uh, dimension to it too. I like the, the way that's like giving you some uh, character there. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> Those you. bunny slippers are <laughs> really amazing. Thank you, Nancy. We'll go to Kate and we'll close out with Jamie if Jamie's there, but otherwise maybe we'll close out here. Hi, Kate. Hi, I had fun with the icons. Um, this one's supposed to be dry eye. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no smell. This is supposed to be diarrhea, but I don't see how it's different from constipation. <laughs> this one is insomnia. Um, and then this was headache. That was rash. <laughs> um, so my comic is, um, okay, going to the doctor, getting prescribed. This is very serious drug with some possible side effects, but most tolerate it well. It's very effective, but it takes a while to start working. These steroids will help with the pain now. I took 
both doses as soon as I got them Monday morning. And then at like two, I'm kind of drowsy at my desk. And then this is supposed to be at like 2.10. I'm just, time is going by so slowly. And I can't hold my head up. Um, I thought the steroids would make me racy. So I just couldn't figure out what was going on. It was like the opposite of what I expected. And then the next day on the phone with a friend, yeah, my mom takes that and she has to plan ahead because she's wiped mm -hmm. out for the whole next day. Oh, that's why I was so tired. So it was just supposed to be about that like confusion of like, is this a side effect or did I not sleep well last night? And that's why, or is this because what I ate? You know, it's just, I always feel very confused. I can't tell what is a side effect. So. Yeah. I, I really like the, that the second to last one that you showed with the, the two images of the panels of you at your desk. Um, I just thought that they, they look really nice together. They're like almost identical and the, the transition between the two of them, there's like some nice motion ha happening there. It looks great. Yeah. Thanks. Awesome. Kate. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Jamie will be our last one. Our closer. If she, if we see video. Okay. All right. Here we go. Oh, wait, oh, we got to get Snake off of there. Hold on, Snake, get out of here. <laughs> All right, I know this. I should know this. Hold on, background effects. Get out of here, Snake. None. What's blur. Can I do blur? Blur. That. blur? Okay. All right, here we go. Get okay. And now, of course, the background thing is stuck on here. But Tom, I have eye problems. That's why. That's my new excuse, because it's absolutely true. Okay, so I don't know how to get rid of this thing. Here. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay, great. So not one of my better ones. I should have talked about the Lexapro and how when they put me on that, it felt like somebody took the top of my head off and the hand of God went swirling around in my brain like that. And I was like, please stop. And it wouldn't get off me for three days. But no, I picked gabapentin, my arch enemy gabapentin, because so there's the gabapentin and it says like, take three pills a day. Thank God I only took two, but even still I go, I'm like crying. I don't want to take drugs. Cause you know, I was, I always, I always get all the side effects, you know what I mean? Like, but I get the weird ones that are down the list and you have to read the whole list to figure out what you got. So it just scares me. And, uh, but I have faith in the doctor. He goes, okay, you know, take it. It's going to help your fibromyalgia pain. Okay. You're like, yeah. Three weeks later, you're like this rusty puppet. I tried to draw the wizard of Oz guy. So Yeah everything hurts now. Like uh, now it's so stiff. I'm like, I feel like a rusty puppet, the tin man who needs oil. So then I'm like sadder than before. Like I'm crying. See, look, it's like tears because I'm crying. It's like a flood of, because I really want this to work. Right. So I keep taking it, but I just feel worse. I'm like, I wasn't like this before. Then I, I remember I dropped like a pencil at the TJ Maxx and I couldn't bend over to pick up the pencil. And I was like, am I 90 years old? What the freaking hell happened? And I, I go home and I read the side effects and the, the gabapentin, that's one of them, like stiff muscles. It felt like dried corn husks of pain. Okay, that's a little dramatic, but it was true. And then here, then I got this new thing, OCD. I never had this shit before in my life. And all of a sudden I'm obsessed. Did I, did I turn off the faucet? Did I turn off the faucet? Got to double check, got to double check. This came <gasps> up in nowhere and it was I, straight from this drug. It mostly is gone now but it lingered for a long time. And it was terrifying because all the dogs, I only walk a couple dogs, but the ones that I walk, I'd be like, hold on guys, we got to double check. And I'd have the leashes on to go back in the house to double check the faucet to make sure it wasn't dripping. So screw grab a pen, the end. Thanks guys. Yes. Oh, that was a lot. <laughs> I should have done I mean, I, I think, you know, closing it out with the intensity is, is totally appropriate. And uh, I, yeah, I, I really like what's going on in this image. I like the way that you just kind of clustered everything together because it's, you know, it reflects that confusion that you're talking about. I mean, it, it works really well. Thanks. Awesome, yeah. Jamie. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Great, so we, great, great workshop. We'll close out with Edgar. Here we go. Edgar, you can well, tell th us. Well, thank you for including me. Uh, I, uh, I started drawing uh, and then I... Um, I got a phone call, so I'm multitasking. I'm speaking on the phone, I'm drawing, and I'm watching this. But anyway, I hope for that I, I, um, 
here we go. I decided to stay with the first one and I entitled it My Best, Worst, and Normal Week. So this is a look at Edgar's life here. Monday, singing True Love Ways in honor of my late parents with Tom Saputo, local keyboardist at a restaurant. And uh, the Tuesday, drawing tribute to Laurie Anderson's songs and stories from Moby Dick from 1999. I was there. So that's that's her holding her sound stick. If we had more time, I'd tell you about it. But it, I got a chance to talk to her afterwards. Wednesday, I'm working all day trying to prepare minutes for a national board meeting. And there are Zoom problems. Uh, finally, we all got on and had our meeting. Thursday, Edgar III, that's me, recites Eddie's monologue from Fool for Love in Shakespeare theater acting class. And I say, and then the girl appeared in the door. I couldn't help myself. I fell in love with her the first sight. Anyway, Friday, I have to visit to Front Royal in search of memories from long ago, but I'm back in time to draw my week for Saw Comics night, for Friday night comics. And here you see the infinity page that has the tiny strip I'm working on. And of course, <laughs> we have Saturday and Sunday. What will they bring? Well, I know, but I'll, I'll draw them later. So thank you for the inspiration. <laughs> and uh, and uh, 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 well, anyway, thank you. Yeah, I hope you do draw Saturday and Sunday. And I hope you have fun stuff planned. I, I do have some fun stuff planned. Great. Good. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks Edgar. And thank I, you for including me. I was at that Laurie Anderson production too. I saw it in Brooklyn. You can tell me. Oh, wow. Well, wow. well, if you have 30 seconds, I saw it in Dallas, which I believe might have been the first time. And afterwards, she, it was three hours long. And she said, there's too much sound stick. And she said, I'm going to cut an hour. So apparently our audience was the only one that saw the full version. The but version. yeah, if you saw it in Brooklyn, yeah, it was it was really unusual. And in my drawing, I did put Lou Reed. He was in the audience. He wasn't in the show, but he's in my drawing too. I'll show you that next week. Maybe. Yeah, post that in the in Instagram or or in any any social media that you have access to. That would I'll be great. do that. I'll, I'll do that, that in the chat one last time. Rachel, thank you so much. My gosh, this was yeah. like. Thank this you, is definitely Rachel. like a chance to like uh, talk about the things we don't normally talk about, you know? Yeah. That's yeah. I, I Thank you all for being game for this. Uh, I wasn't sure exactly how it would go, but, you know, I maintain that, you know, it's important to pay attention to these things and to capture them. And um, I hope that it was uh, an enriching experience and got you got you thinking a little bit. And really great. Are you working on another book? I forgot to ask earlier. No, I'm just doing my strip right now. Um, so yeah, um, just focusing on being in the paper and doing that stuff. But I don't know, maybe. Very cool. I'll ask everybody to unmute and they can all say you a, a, a nice thank you. Okay, hey. you can all unmute. Let's uh, let's thank Rachel and everybody go have thank a nice you, evening Rachel. or a nice thank afternoon. You, or a nice thank, you. Afternoon. thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks, Tom. Thank you so much, Thank you for the inspiration. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yay. All right. Have a great night. Uh, Have a great weekend. Thank you, Rachel. You too. Bye.